Wow. That was good. Oh boy, that thing was smoked. Yeah, it felt good. Today we have the ultimate max driver test. The Sim 2 Max, the Epic Max, and the Ping G425 Max drivers. Hey golfers, today I have Jackie Johnson with me and Jackie's gonna be doing the hitting. We're gonna be testing these Max drivers. So Max is in the name, so for max distance, Max ball speed, max forgiveness. Great drivers here in 2021. I'm excited to see Jackie test these drivers out today with a little bit slower swing speed than you might see with me. It's gonna be a great test. So Jackie, are you excited to test these new technology out? Yeah, I'm thrilled. Great, I'm thrilled too. And our viewers are gonna be thrilled too because a lot of our viewers have pretty similar swing speeds to you. So this is gonna be a great test discussing the three different drivers. We're gonna be testing all 10 and a half degree heads with the exact same golf shaft. We have the Graphite Design Tor AD IZ 5R golf shaft. It weighs 55 grams. Nice thing at second swing is we've got our all fit adapter system. So we're able to put that exact same golf shaft in all the heads and find out which head is the hottest, which head's the most forgiving. I'm excited to see it, so let's hit some shots. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so for today's test, Jackie's gonna be hitting all the golf shots. We're gonna start with an initial round. We're gonna hit three or four drives initially with each model. Then we're gonna talk about the look and the feel of the models. Then we're gonna do a second round. Then we're gonna hit three or four more, and then we'll take a look at the numbers and explain the differences between each model. So I'm excited to see you hit some golf shots. Let's hit some bombs. All right. Okay, Jackie, so we're four shots in with each driver. Let's first talk about the looks and the feel with the three different drivers. Is there anything that stood out to you? Uh, yeah, the Callaway is definitely like a little bit different for me anyways, because I've played Ping and I currently play the Sim right now. Um, so for me, the, that look is definitely more familiar to me, where the Callaway is just a little bit different head look at a dress. Um, as far as like feel, obviously with ping you're going to have that, uh, the sound that comes off when you hit it is, is literally a ping. And so that's definitely something that's an indicator there, but um, I would say out of the differences, I, I felt like the sim felt more natural to me just because I already play that. So like for me it was just kind of a natural uh, feel off the club face. The Callaway felt pretty good, but um, I did have some miss hits on there, but then you see some of the good ones I had as well, um, where you know the dispersion's pretty good as for that club. So overall, um, honestly, for me, it came down more to just the head look. Uh, the feel is pretty similar in the forgiveness on, on all of them. Yeah. What about like that club head size, now with mm -hmm. them all being max heads, do they seem pretty large? Do they seem pretty similar with regards to the same shape as well? Or I, is there any, any differences between the three of them? I would say like the Ping and the Callaway definitely look bigger at a dress. The TaylorMade is, you know, a little bit more compact when it comes to like the uh, width of it. Yep. Uh, Callaway and Ping are a little bit wider in that sense. Okay. So I just want to touch really briefly on the level of forgiveness because this is a, these drivers are extremely high forgiving. So. What I want to do is just, I just want to bring up your, your hit location really quickly as we were kind of hitting these shots here. So as we're hitting the Sim 2 Max, that was pretty close to the middle, but not everything was, was perfect. And most golfers are not going to have that circle every single time right in the middle of the club face. When you're hitting the Epic Max, we notice kind of a little, little bit high toll there. Uh, when you're hitting the, the Ping G425 Max, just a little bit kind of out on the, on the toll side there too. And you can kind of see, if you look at ball speed really quickly, you can see the G425 Max did actually have the highest ball speed there, even though it was maybe slightly kind of more on, on, the, on the toe side, which is kind of interesting. So mm -hmm. very, very forgiving driver. They're all very, very forgiving drivers. It's kind of interesting. And then if we look at distance right away, this is total distance. We can see maybe Epic Max, maybe a little more consistent in kind of total distance, a little to the left. 
Um, you can see Sim2Max, just a little bit larger circle. Do want to switch this to carry distance now? Really interesting how that changes. So carry distance is important. The Sim2Max was just carrying just a little bit further. But that's first initial test, first, first round. Let's hit four more with each one, and let's really validate these numbers. All right. Good launch. Wow. That was good. Oh boy. That thing was smoked. That was crushed. Yeah, it felt good. Another one. Jackie, those last four swings for TaylorMade, that was a pretty good finish there. Yeah, definitely uh, ended strong. <laughs> yeah, speaking of strong, you hit that one there at the end that you, that you smoked there, 249.8. That was the furthest drive that you, that you hit today. It might even be uh, your furthest carry there today. That thing, that was smoked there as well. So let's kind of talk about the numbers. Let's kind of break them down a little bit. You did mention one thing. You mentioned the weight of the clubs seemed a little different. Yeah, with the ping, I definitely could tell uh, that it was heavier. Um, and the, uh, the interesting thing is, like, on my downswing, I definitely can feel it, like, just wanting to drop. So that's a little bit different than the other two, a little bit lighter weight, especially the Callaway, where, you know, there's a few times I was pulling the, the Callaway because it's just so much lighter. Um, so getting used to that. But overall, ping was definitely heavier. Uh, felt I could feel that, but it was also pretty darn forgiving. So yeah, I've, I've actually done some measurements. I've actually weighed the heads myself because mm -hmm. I've noticed the exact same thing. The ping drive ahead is a little bit heavier, weighs a little bit heavier, and I think the reason behind that is to do with a lot of the ping golf shafts are counterbalanced golf shafts, mm -hmm. so they have a little more weight up and up in the grip of them, which to counteract that they've got a little heavier club head essentially. So. Kind of noticed that a little bit with, with the ping drivers myself when I've been testing them. This felt a little bit heavier. The Callaway drivers in general it felt pretty light. And I'm glad you kind of brought that up there too. And you could see that you were able to turn the ball over a little bit easier with the Epic Max. So the Epic Max for sure is a little bit more kind of draw bias of the test of these models. Mm -hmm. When I did this driver test, I did the Sim 2 Max, the Ping G425 Max, and the Epic Speed driver because that kind of fits kind of, kind of in the middle. But we wanted to do all max, because I know people wanted to see the, see the test of all the max different drivers here. So let's talk numbers. So let's talk numbers and see if there's anything that stands out to us. Really interesting, you know, we've got eight drives of each, your club speed, basically the same for across the board there. It's kind of interesting you mentioned the Epic Max felt lighter. Actually, your club speed was the slowest. So really kind of interesting there. <laughs> um, fastest ball speed was with the Sim 2 Max. 129.7, so that was two miles an hour faster than the other two. Now those last three or four shots that you hit with that at the end, for sure were quite a bit faster at the end, and for sure this one that's flashing right here definitely helped because you had ball speed 132.9 there, and that was the hottest one that we, that we had seen. So definitely helped the averages get up there a little bit. Um, but you'll notice your club speed, basically the same. So you can see efficiency just a little bit better with the Sim 2 Max. Launch angle, kind of interesting with the ping, launching a little bit lower than the other two. Epic Max is launching a little, little bit higher there as, there as well. So because it was launching a little bit higher, high launch, low spin, you notice it was kind of up there with regards to carry distance compared to the, the Sim 2 Max, even though it was two miles an hour, less ball speed. So that, I thought that was kind of interesting. The Ping G25 Max, you definitely had a harder time getting the ball in the air with it. You notice, you know, lost a little bit of carry distance with that there too. And I think mm -hmm. that's maybe a little bit to do with the the weight of the club head for, for sure. So you can see how the ball did fly lower with the Ping G25 Max. You'll notice the height here was the exact same with these two there as well. So that's kind of interesting to see. I mean, based on the numbers and based on the looks and the feel, was there a driver that did feel more comfortable to you overall? Yeah, I like the Sim. I mean, that I do have the, in the Sim 2 and the Sim are, are very similar. Um, obviously a little bit co different color scheme when it comes to uh, the different models, but like overall, you get, I definitely felt more comfortable hitting it, and I do like the look of the sim personally. Um, just the top line and just 
honestly, the, the pop that it gives off the face is, um, I don't know, I prefer it. So I do like that a little bit better than uh, the other two models. Yeah, I mean, more ball speeds can equal yeah. more distance at the end of the day. I mean, that's just kind of sums it up. And you got hit drives here, you the drive there at 249 yards, that's, that's getting out there. That, that's pretty, pretty solid there. Uh, I want to finish up touching on dispersion, just kind of talking about the differences. Uh, so one thing you'll notice, yes, the ball is carrying a little bit shorter with the Ping G25 Max. I moved this to total distance. Now you'll kind of notice the total distance was a little bit closer there. Uh, one thing I did notice with the Epic Max I mentioned, maybe a little more draw bias. We had one circle over here to the right, but all the other se seven circles were all pretty far over there to the left. Um, Ping G425 Max was kind of in that same kind of area, pushed a little bit more to the right side. And then the Sim 2 Max, you notice you've got these six dots here that were, you know, going further than anything else there. So there's good reason for you liking the, the Sim 2 Max driver because it was, it was going pretty far. So pretty good distance there. Uh, if distance, forgiveness, ball speed's where, you're, where it's at, come on into second swing and get fit. Compare these different Max drivers out. Max forgiveness is very, very important uh, as a way to help a player out with regards to keeping the ball in the fairway, but also hitting some bombs. So Jackie hit some bombs for us today. Come on, on to, into second swing and hit some bombs and get fit like a pro.